Hold up, the Zika virus could harm you even if you're not pregnant. It's me, the Zika virus is causing major concern, so much so that the World Health Organization has declared the epidemic a global emergency. At first, experts thought the virus only posed a serious threat to pregnant women. The majority of healthy adults who come down with Zika simply experience flu-like symptoms for a few days, if they show symptoms at all, since it can cause birth defects. Then, the news broke that the virus, which was previously only known to spread through mosquitoes, could actually be transmitted via sex. Cue a major push for condom use. And now, according to a new study, Health officials have a whole new reason to be concerned, Zika might be linked to a serious neurological disorder that causes paralysis. Crap. Sign up for Women's Health's new newsletter, so this happened, to get the day's trending stories and health studies. In 2013 and 2014, there was a much smaller, but still significant, outbreak of Zika in French Polynesia. At the same time, there was a spike in a disease called Guillain-Barre syndrome, which causes the body's immune system to attack the nervous system, that was big enough to lead health experts to think that the two might be linked. In light of the recent outbreak, researchers analyzed the relationship. They looked at blood samples collected from 42 individuals who had been affected by Guillain-Barre in French Polynesia and they found that almost all of them showed signs of having a previous Zika infection, making the evidence that the two health issues are linked pretty compelling. The good news is that although Guillain-Barre syndrome can be fatal in rare cases, its effects typically aren't permanent. Most people who come down with a neurological disorder, and the scary accompanying paralysis, only see symptoms for a few weeks or months. As the Zika risks continue to increase, so does the importance of taking precautions. Protect yourself against mosquitoes, key travel advisory warnings, and always, always use a condom, especially if you or your partner has been traveling in the high-risk areas. Areas.